Hello everyone, it's me, your average bonehead, Jay. I have the Ghost and Molly McGee. Another show that I really, really like, but for some reason just haven't talked about that much. Until today, that is. So, with season two just starting, now's a good time as ever. And today we'll be talking about the episode, Book Marks the Sprite. The episode begins with Molly's friend Libby getting put in charge of her mother's bookstore. Unfortunately, as soon as she leaves, a ghost appears and starts eating all the words of the books. And to make matters worse, Molly's new ghost hunting neighbor, Ollie, shows up. Now, in case for some reason you couldn't tell, Molly has a monster crush on Ollie. But him being from a family of ghost hunters throws a wrench into that relationship due to him now being in immediate danger to Molly's ghost best friend slash lovable freeloading uncle, Scratch. <laughs> The group splits up into two teams, as Libby and Scratch will stay behind to fight the ghost, while Molly goes off to distract, thirst over, and explain to Ollie that ghosts aren't evil. She even gets a love ballad about it. How can it be? Someone so kind has hate in his heart for a dear friend of mine. But unfortunately, Molly is not able to convince Ollie that ghosts aren't evil due to the fact that his family only started hunting ghosts because of trauma that his father endured in his childhood because of a ghost. Which really bums Molly out due to how much she loves him. Also, on a quick side note, no, you're not any form of obic whether you do or do not ship them. I like the ship, but I get not everyone's going to like it. Don't harass people who like the ship and do not harass people who don't like the ship. Come on, people, this should be a no-brainer. Meanwhile, with Scratch and Libby, they're having a hard time fighting off against a story sprite due to it having the ability to become whatever it eats. And just when it's about to close in on them and it looks like it's over for the two, Libby gets the idea to make it eat her journal, which causes it to turn into another version of her. Now having Libby's personality, they manage to convince it to put all the books back to normal and they send the story sprite on its merry way. And while Molly's bummed out that she couldn't convince Ollie, Libby lets her know that there's still hope for the future. Oh, and when Libby's mom Mom returns to the store, she sees that it's even cleaner than how she left it, and she is none the wiser. And the episode ends on that note. I love fun but simple episodes like these, as they give us fun scenarios, unusual team-ups, funny jokes, the whole shabam. Overall, I say The Ghost of Molly McGee is a really fun show, and it's definitely worth a watch if you haven't given it one already. Now, I'm your average bonehead Jay, and I wish you all good night.